Hi everyone, my name is Samson Bakare. Uh, I'm a multidisciplinary artist based in Lagos, Nigeria. I work um, with acrylic medium for my paintings mostly, and um, fiberglass for my sculptures, and wood carving, you know, some of the times. I am inspired by the East African Coptic arts because historically the rendition of the eyes, how protruded the eyes and the nose, how elongated they could be, I feel it, um, it dated down to, you know, so many centuries and um, there's a need for me to revisit that in my heart form. So for me, I feel art is um, a language and painting is a statement. So in, in a language, there are different means of speaking. So some people feel eternally self-expression, they could express such languages by different art forms, performance art, sculpture, design, and uh, I choose that this is the voice I really want to speak from. So painting is, uh, is a statement I really want to make, is the tone of speaking for me, is my means of expression. Why heart is the language I speak, you know. Heart is essence, heart is life. So humans are heart work, humans are, they are moving sculptural pieces, you know. So art is everything in space and out of space. Heart is spiritual. Most of the time we find it difficult to communicate some metaphysical issues or some pseudo-scientific issues like um, death, interpretation of dreams, and um, you know, our daily life. So I, I feel art um, is deeper than anything even on the surface level. So it, it's, it's unexplainable if you ask me. <laughs>I'm inspired by my new experience in the city of Abidjan and how I find acceptance, you know, with the people there. It's a bit calm, it's so serene. I mean, for me to be a Lagos-based artist all the while, and I'm trying to see a, a lifestyle that is a bit contrary in terms of calmness to where I've been, you know, to where I've been living all the while. And that led me to uh, a team that is related to fluidity, that is related to, um, you know, simplicity that is related to something water-like. Because w when I look around the city of Abidjan, I, I, I see that just like Lagos, it's like a, a coastal city, you know, where you have the, you know, close to the sea, the Atlantic Oceans and the like. And um, when you look at the background of the work I'm, I'm doing now, I'm doing much of pouring of works, much of splashing, much of, uh, you know, make sure so many colors in one. That is the idea that uh, there could be diversity in one. And also for the people, there are some figures holding fish and the likes. This is to make a statement on the cultural practice of the people of Abidjan, you know, fishery and so many things that have uh, been the occupation for a while. I, I thought of having um, a constructive idea coming from Lagos, but then I, I got interrupted when I discovered that I need to immerse myself in the experience here. I need to flow with the adventure, what I learned on New Day, the culture, the people, the language, and um, also mannerism. And all these things are the elements that inspired the body of work I'm creating right now. So it is something I have not done intrinsically before and um, I'm happy to come on the journey of this new experience. Naturally for me, in my past years of practice, I like to document people around me. Sometimes I document myself, sometimes I, I could do my siblings and especially my younger brother Ezekiel has appeared you know, on the face of my paintings multiple times because of his dread. He used to be on dread at some point so I just found myself documenting him day to day, you know. And um, because I feel like as an artist, we have the capacity to immortalize people, to make them not die. Leonardo da Vinci was able to do that with Molanisa. And this is what I try to do, to create a timeless heart with the people around me, to tell stories that are beyond our existence, that even are in the year after or in the time after. One of the reasons I decided to exaggerate the eyes is because our eyes as humans are our most uh, paramount symbol of identity. You know, how people are identifiable is, we know, with the highs. It is an art form that takes its origin from stylization. Like I, I said in the Coptic art, when you look at the Coptic art, the nose, the, the eyes are, they are drawn or painted in a, a certain manners that feels so much more, uh, you know, elongated or overpronounced. So that this is the whole idea. During the residency, my body of work tend to find bearing within kaleidoscopic image and um, also abstract expressionism because I feel like 
as an artist, I, I personally need to evolve. I started with a very more repetitive background of African patterns, shapes, and uh, textile or floral related, you know, art forms on the background. But recently, I, I, I'm diving into something more related to abstract expressionism. I decided to create something more fluid on the background this time. It's like a mixture of so many colors in one, popping out to represent something that looks like, like an under the sea kind of imagery. You know, when you look at it, it feels like the depiction you get from exploration on the deep blue sea. I'm glad to be here in Abidjan. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be among the people that uh, you know I feel most welcome with, even though we have uh, this language diversity. But uh, you know, these are good humans. <laughs> <laughs>